Hi, I'm Jürgen Meltzer from Austria. Austrian tennis has plenty to smile about. He's not only having the season of his career in singles, but he's on top of his game in doubles too. Jürgen Meltzer has been one of the revelations of the 2010 campaign. Outshining bigger names and even going beyond the targets he set himself. In the beginning, I think you want to become a, a professional athlete. You want to set out some, some goals. You want to become top 100 once. And once you achieve that goals, you just reach for another goal. I think it's always important to have one, to believe in it, and then to work for it. When you go out there and, and the crowd is cheering, then all the work pays off. He's regarded as one of the tour's nice guys. It's a serious business trying to win, but Meltzer places importance on showing a good example. There's players for sure where winning is everything, and there's players who, who take it with a smile. Uh, for example, if you take Marcus Portadis, I mean, he's mostly smiling on the court. I mean, of course, you never look inside of him, but he's one of those guys that I think how tennis players should be. And there's also some who really get angry. Last month, Meltzer recorded the biggest win of his career against world number one Rafa Nadal in Shanghai. But he knows how important it now is to keep a level head. You have a responsibility to try your best out there. I mean, once you step on court, you should give 100%. And when you have done that, I think there's nothing nobody can blame you for. There is always somebody out there who is going to be better than you and on a certain day. And when you're trying to find a way to win with what you have on that day and you give it 100%, I think you can be proud of yourself. If you believe in yourself and you, have, you know you have put the work in and you know you're fit enough, that's, that's for me the most important thing. If I, if I go out there and I know, okay, I'm at least as fit as the guy on the other side, then it's just take everything you have and then throw at him and then you see. If he has more, he wins. And if he doesn't, uh, you win. As successful as he's been, Meltzer has always had trouble with one player. It's an American conundrum he just can't solve. My toughest is Andy Roddick. Um, I've played him, I think, 11 times, lost 11 times. So he's for me the toughest guy to play. But he says he will find a solution. I think the good thing is, or at least what I do, I go out there and believe that now is the chance and now I will beat him. If you, if you lose again, you'll try next time. Meltzer's highlights in 2010 only serve to underline what all-court ability he possesses, the reason why he is such a dangerous opponent. Playing the semis of Roland Garros, um, winning Wimbledon in doubles, that's, I think that's two things. I've reached two rounds of 16s in Wimbledon and the US Open. So I've had a really good year so far and hopefully I can finish off strong. It's a rare player who succeeds in both singles and doubles. Meltzer and his various partners have regularly beaten more established teams on the tour. I love playing doubles, that's why I do it. It's just, I grew up playing a lot of soccer, I love to be in a kind of team environment. So, although it's only two of you, but you can celebrate together and you can try to forget about the losses together. So it's, it's something I love to do, that's why I'm playing. I know it costs a lot of energy, and, but it also made me a better tennis player. London awaits in the doubles, but there's still a chance he may make history and qualify for the singles as well. I only have a small chance, but still, um, if there is a chance, you, you should go 100% for that, and then we will see at the end if, it's, if it was enough. If I can have an as good year as I did this year, I, I would be happy. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, from ball boy to Basel champion, we catch up with Roger Federer on home soil. And who can possibly stop them? We talk to the Bryan brothers as they close in on another historic record. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. And join the discussion on the Barclays ATP World Tour finals on our Twitter and Facebook pages. See you next week.